channel if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for spending your precious time here on my channel but for the new ones you are welcome i talk of relationships fashion beauty and life experiences in general so please subscribe today and now for today's video it will be a story time before i start today's story i want to talk to you my fellow women to never tolerate a violent man never never accept a violent man run get away from this violent man because you might be thinking that he is the source of income he is everything to me we have kids where will i go but trust me you will survive god will not leave you alone you will survive yes it won't be easy but you will survive you'll be able to live don't tolerate and even never ignore any red signs of a violent man because something you might be tolerating or ignoring right now it might take you to grave one day trust me and for those who are starting a relationship a new relationship or you have not started please pay attention right at the beginning of your relationship how does this man treat you is he violent pay attention to that don't ignore it and let us start our today's story so guys today's story is about a woman called Anna she was 22 years old very beautiful full of life positive Anna had a lot of friends because she was so friendly but she did not have a boyfriend when Anna finished high school she decided to look for a job part-time job because a lot of students here when they finished high school they decide to look for a part-time job just to have pocket money for going out with friends they don't need to disturb parents to give them money all the time to go out with friends have ice cream and all that so a lot of them decide to look for a part-time job and that is what Anna did but luckily Anna's dad had a restaurant so the dad employed Anna to his restaurant as a waitress so Anna started working at her dad's restaurant and as time passed she found a boyfriend this boyfriend was a client they met at her dad's restaurant but the dad didn't know this client so they started going out and they were really in love so happy with each other and Anna went and told the dad that I have found a boyfriend and the dad was happy told even the mother the mother was really happy and they told her that they need to see this man so they planned for a date to meet the parents and they chose a date that it was a family gathering and they were going to meet at the grandparents house of Anna so they planned and that day arrived they went to the grandparents house everyone was there the cousins the sisters the brothers everyone was there and they were really happy she introduced this boyfriend to all and they welcomed very well this boyfriend to the family so after the introduction they had to eat and after eating they had activities like other playing the ball other playing lots of games and Anna's boyfriend was playing cards with Anna's brother so as they were playing they played and at the end of the game Anna's brother won the game and when the brother won the game the brother was like yeah I've won I've won you and Anna came running and started cheering up the brother yes and told the boyfriend you lost you lost then immediately guys suddenly the boyfriend picked the chair he was seated on and wanted to hit Anna with the chair on her head but luckily the brother was there and stopped him uh, calmed him down and 
he was shaking guys with anger. Everyone was shocked and Anna wasn't scared so much. She was like pleasing the, bo the boyfriend like, I'm sorry, please calm down like that. But this incident, the relatives, the parents were not happy about it. In fact, they were really shocked. So the day ended and everyone went. So guys, they continued their relationship and after five months of relationship, they decided to get married guys. They arranged for the wedding and the wedding day arrived. They got married, everything went so smoothly. Everyone was happy about them. And after that, they started living together as a married couple. After six months of their marriage, Anna told her husband that she wants to become a nurse because that was her dream job. So the husband wasn't happy about that, but Anna decided to push to get her dream job. So she started her college for being the nurse and luckily she graduated. On a graduation day, you cannot imagine guys, the husband arrived very late, like about to finish, then the husband arrived. The family members were very surprised by that, but Anna understood because the husband wasn't happy about her decision being a nurse. Anna started working guys, she was very happy and she found a best friend at work and she used to talk to this best friend you know if your best friends you share so she could share all her problems in marriage and all that with her best friend um after some time anna's husband lost a job he was home and he started being alcoholic he could drink all day and come at home very late this bothered Anna and they started fighting. Anna could tell the husband to go look for a job so that they can balance things out because Anna herself couldn't manage pay all the bills of the house like pay rent, pay electricity, water, all that. And for this fight, the father decided to intervene, Anna's father, and helped out paying some of the bills so that the fight could end. He even offered a job to Anna's husband as a supervisor to his restaurant. Anna's husband accepted the job and started working, but he could not respect that opportunity because sometimes he could go to work and sometimes he could not go. Or he could go very late. This thing really bothered Anna's father and Anna's father talked to Anna so that Anna could talk to the husband to respect the job but he could not listen he continued doing what pleased him so the father had no choice than to fire him so he was fired again he returned home and continued his behavior of drinking so it continued like that and guys Anna got pregnant she was a happy guys over the moon because she dreamed being a mother so she was pregnant and she was so happy and this time made anna push the husband even more to look for a job because they were going to be parents very soon the pregnancy journey was so good she never had any complications but the husband was not convinced by Anna being pregnant. He did not care, you know. And I remember one time Anna went for shopping because her pregnancy journey was almost reaching the end. So she went for shopping for the baby on the way and she bought a lot of cute dresses for a small baby. So when she returned home, the husband was sleeping. When he woke up, 
she was seated on the couch and showing the husband one by one like look at this very cute look at this and the husband was like okay okay oh okay then he continued preparing preparing himself to go out to drink with friends then he went out he could not care guys he was not excited at all i felt really bad for anna because that moment is the moment that you should be happy the two of you for the new baby on the way you know but he did not care guys so it remained one week for anna to go to labor and one day one day guys so this day it was around 8 in the evening Anna's husband started preparing to go out but Anna wasn't feeling so well uh, as a pregnant woman as a woman I know when you are pregnant you can wake up full of energy guys and in the evening you are really sick like everywhere is hurting so Anna was feeling bad a little bit bad and told the husband where are you going you're preparing yourself where are you going it has remained very few days for me to go to labor i might go to labor even now you should be here with me to take care of me anything can happen where are you going the husband was like i am going out anna said you can't go out you will stay here the husband said, I am going out. Anna insisted like, you are not going out. You're not going to leave me alone here. Something bad can happen to me. I am pregnant. And I understand Anna, guys. That moment, it is when you need your beloved one. It is when you need your husband to be there with you. But the husband could not listen. So Anna decided to take the car keys. And when, he, when she took the keys, um the husband started fighting anna to take the key and anna could not give the key and the husband started strangling anna guys he strangled anna and reached at an extent anna could not move guys he strangled her so much like very long and she could not move so when she couldn't move then he left her he left her and took a cigarette went to the balcony started smoking and after one hour he called the police and told them that my wife isn't moving she is pregnant and she fell down she cannot move and after that he called the parents of anna and told them that anna has fell down and she isn't moving they're like why why is why she isn't moving what happened he told the parents that anna fell down that's all and she is not moving so after a few time the police arrived when they arrived they checked at anna anna was called guys the feet were called and the parents arrived the father was so worried he came running wearing boxer guys he was wearing boxer and when he reached at the door of anna's house that is when he put his trousers on and when he entered the house he found Anna down and touched Anna Anna was called then the police called the ambulance to the hospital where Anna used to work and the nurse on duty that day was Anna's best friend and when this nurse listened at the address of where they were going she was like but this is the direction of anna's house is 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 it something that has happened to anna is what what is wrong is it anna 
she was worried guys like really worried she couldn't wait for them to reach at that house so when they reached she realized it was Anna's house she was worried much even more and they, they entered inside they found Anna down that Anna she was called they took Anna guys the best friend started crying in the car because she had realized that Anna is no more so they arrived at the hospital but a very surprising thing the husband did not come along with the ambulance he remained home only parents came uh, the mother and and the father but the husband remained home but at that moment nobody suspected that maybe the husband has done something to the wife nobody so when they arrived immediately they rushed to the operation room so that they can operate Anna and save the baby maybe the baby is alive that is what they were fighting for so when they went operated Anna unfortunately guys unfortunately this angel had died with the mother in the stomach and I remember the nurse brought this little angel very little very beautiful she was a baby girl and showed to the parents and at that time husband's Anna was there and showed this baby and guys the parents were heartbroken they cried a lot but the husband didn't show any sign of feeling like bad at all but no one again doubted him so the father of Anna talked to the doctor and asked for autopsy of Anna so that they can know more what has happened really to Anna so that they can examine the body so the husband was like no 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 I am the husband you will not do any examination on my wife's body and the father was like I am the dad I ask for it they talked to the doctor so in the end they decided to make examination to know what really killed Anna so the doctors did their job and when they finished they had to give the authority of making a funeral to Anna but the results the answers they are not given yet of what killed Anna so they prepared for funeral and the day of the funeral the husband wasn't there and even that time of resting the bodies the body of Anna and the little angel he was not there and other relatives wanted like to continue with the resting process but the father said let me call the husband because it won't be right so the father called the husband and the husband was like I am on my way he came but he was drunk guys so they rested the body and as everyone was really shocked like how can you arrive at the funeral of your wife very late and drunk so the parents there started like suspecting something like maybe this man has killed our daughter but they waited for the time to get the results so as they were waiting the brothers could not wait because he did something very strange this man after the burial two days after this man brought another woman to the house they used to live with Anna and he hanged the the knickers out on the balcony like out there so even the neighbors everyone was like what 
he has a new woman just so soon and the father heard about that story and the brothers saw they were really angry and they knew this man has done something so they decided to call this man and meet somewhere so when they met they like tried to strangle him like but not not trying to kill him just to threat him so that he can tell the truth but he did not say anything and a lot of people the neighbors and everyone who knew Anna they all blamed the hospital like maybe it's because they arrived late that is why Anna died with a baby but that wasn't the case so as they were waiting luckily guys the result came and they found that the husband strangled the wife and even the police went to Anna's house and measured there is this measurement they do when the suicide thing happens so they went and measured and saw everything that went there with their instruments it shows everything that had happened that day so it showed everything how they fought how he strangled the wife to death so luckily guys this man was put to jail due to that he was sentenced 25 years in jail but what does this story teach us guys this story teaches us to be very careful like i said at the beginning of my video you should be very careful when you're starting your relationship how does this man treat you do you like his character and never ignore something like that because even the relatives the sisters of anna even the father the parent the parents said that moment when that man raised a chair was a very good moment for Anna to leave that man because that was a red sign that he is a violent man but Anna ignored guys she ignored and look what happened it took her and her beautiful baby girl to grave so please Pay attention and never accept a violent man. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something. Please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video. Watch my other videos too. Don't forget to comment what you think about this video. Subscribe too. I love you so much. You're always here. Ciao, ciao.